Does faulty human leadership mean that we must rebel? When are leadership faults of a magnitude that God will reject a church leader? Let's contrast Moses with Balaam. When Israel lacked water, did Moses fail in his response? Did God change his instructions from striking a rock to speaking to a rock? Take the staff and assemble the community. You and your brother Aaron are to speak to the rock while they watch, and it'll yield its water. You'll bring out water for them from the rock and provide drink for the community and their livestock. Did Moses momentarily forget his humility and take credit for the water instead of glorifying God for the miracle? Did he strike the rock instead of speaking to it as God had directed? Did God provide water despite Moses' misconduct? He said to them, Listen, you rebels, should we produce water from the rock for you? Then Moses raised his hand and struck the rock with his staff twice, out flooded water so that the community and their animals could drink. How did God judge the actions of Moses and Aaron? And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, Because you believed me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Therefore you shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. Was this just a slip of the tongue or rebellion? Aaron will be gathered to his people, for he shall not enter the land which I have given the sons of Israel, because you rebelled against my command at the waters of Meribah. Who also was at fault here? When congregations lack trust in God, what can that look like? And they began to speak against God and Moses. Why have you brought us out of Egypt to die here in the wilderness? They complained. There's nothing to eat here and nothing to drink, and we hate this horrible manna. What spiritual snakes might God send to punish a church? Can a rebellious church repent, as Israel did? The people came to Moses and said, We sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. What pole do we look to for healing? Moses made a bronze snake and placed it on a pole. If a snake bit someone, that person could look at the bronze snake and live. Did the snake on a pole foreshadow the cross? And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Have pagan religions influenced our churches? Did Balak, king of Moab, offer a greedy foreign prophet Balaam money to curse Israel for him? Did God intervene? God said to Balaam, You shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people, for they are blessed. In seven poetic oracles, Balaam obeys God and prophesies blessings for Israel. However, did he finally figure out how to get God to curse Israel? By the influence of pagan religion. They are the ones who followed Balaam's advice and invited our people to worship the god Baal Peor. That's why the Lord punished us by killing so many of our people. Are there still greedy people in the church who love the wages of wickedness? With eyes full of adultery, they never stop sinning. They seduce the unstable, they're experts in greed, and a cursed brood. They've left the straight way and wandered off to follow the way of Balaam, son of Bezer, who loved the wages of wickedness. Can so-called progressive theology actually be regressive to ancient sins? Is Balaam named among such ancient sins? What sorrow awaits them, for they follow in the footsteps of Cain, who killed his brother. Like Balaam, they deceived people from money, and like Korah, they perish in their rebellion. Does God warn the church via Pergamus? about regression to the ancient doctrine of Balaam. 
But I have a few things against you, because you have there those who hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. Moses and Balaam both had human weakness. Moses momentarily failed to credit God for a miracle. His track record was otherwise faithful. Balaam tried to deceive God's people for financial gain. He was a wicked prophet. Will you confess your sins and choose faithfulness? You decide. Music